After a mastectomy, many women say they feel insecure about their bodies. But Doreen Gensler joins us with more on a new surgery that's helping women find confidence after a cancer diagnosis. Doreen? Hi, Barbara. This is an interesting idea for women who don't want to get breast implants after a mastectomy. There is a new option, taking fat from love handles and using that to rebuild the breasts. I'm sure they'll have those details okay. for your chart. Yeah. As a nursing professor, Laura Taylor is used to teaching others about scary diseases like cancer. So when she was faced with a breast cancer diagnosis two years ago, she was shocked. I just wanted to sit back and contemplate it first. I was concerned about lymph nodes. I was concerned about metastasis. I was concerned about what approach I was going to be taking moving forward. After Taylor underwent a double mastectomy, she knew she didn't want breast implants, but was unsure about her other options until she met Johns Hopkins Hospital plastic surgeon, Dr. Ariel Rad, who told her she was a perfect candidate for a newer procedure that could take fat from her love handles and make new breasts. And I was like, yes, that's me. I'll do a transplant of my fat and create breasts that are me. And that, that, was, that was very important to me. This is um, a technique that rebuilds the entire breast from a patient's own tissue. So the, the way, what I tell patients is that once they're finished with their reconstruction, they're finished forever. Uh, they're done with surgery, they don't ever have to worry about the, uh, any problems that you might have with implants. Dr. Rad is one of just 30 surgeons in the world doing this type of surgery. He says it can be complex. It can take up to 10 hours because the area around the love handles is so delicate. Usually, patients need about three surgeries to complete the tissue transfer and make sure the body is sculpted perfectly. They last forever. I mean, that's the beauty of this technique. Um, the fat is uh, theirs. The fat doesn't turn into breast tissue, so there's no worry about breast cancer down the road of the reconstructed breasts. It was painful. Laura Taylor had her last surgery in August. She says there's still some scarring around her buttocks and breasts, but Rad is working to minimize it. In the meantime, she says she loves her new body. I am thrilled with my body. Thrilled. For 48 years old, I feel wonderful. She looks wonderful, and you have to be happy for her. Laura Taylor says she actually had to go up a dress size because her top is bigger than it was before. Not a problem in the eyes of many women, I don't think. But she added that to feel so great about herself after dealing with a cancer diagnosis and everything that goes along with that, it really is an amazing thing. Barbara, Jim? All, All right, right. thanks, Doreen. Great story, sure. Doreen.